All right, this is uh, going to be a little thing on how to edit dummies in Elden Ring pretty effectively with Blender and Notepad++. So dummies are a thing that determine how your weapon's hitboxes are and what where the effects appear on them. So in the Flivr Editor, however you say that, you can see this dummy tab here, and you'll see all this stuff. Uh. Yeah, these are where you get the information for the dummies. So copy all of that and put it into this site. And it'll format it for you so it's much easier to read. And then if you have Notepad++, you can use that and find out where everything is pretty easily. Like The most important things right here are the position. See how it says reference ID and then position. These are the most these are the two most important things. So export your model with the as an SMD from the Bloodborne tools or maybe even as a DAE from the liver editor. Both of probably work out. And import that into Blender. So there's help in steeple. So what I'm gonna do is make a new armature take that into edit mode and this is just prefer personal preference to make the bones a bit smaller so they're more readable uh, extend this and i'm going to name this 100 after the very first dummy listed in here see so reference id 100 and I'm going to copy the Y position on here and paste it on both the head and tail of that bone so that lines up to right here. I believe that this is where the hitbox ends for the sword, the main hitbox anyway. And you might notice that there's like this it has like some weird stuff at the end of it. I don't quite know what that means. Like E, negative 16, you can't put that in a blender, so I usually just ignore those and take it as zero. So on to the next bone, which is 110. I'll duplicate this bone, rename it to 110, and copy that position as well. And then I'll do that for every other dummy in here. So 120, it had both the weird numbers, or all weird numbers, zeros and weird numbers. So I'll just put everything except for the z-axis on the tail to zero. Because the z-axis is what controls the height of these bones and makes them easier to see. So you don't want to change the tail's z-axis. Here's 122. Oops. Now I don't know every nuance of the dummies and like what all each one controls, but it seems like 100 and 110 and those seem like the main ones that control the weapon's hitbox. So there's 122 done, renamed over there. We have 130, and then like 300 and all the like. I'm going to pause the recording and I'll resume it once I have all the rest of the dummies placed. Okay, the dummies have all been placed, so I'm going to... Uh, quickly append another model that I've worked on, if I can remember where that option is. Oh, I forgot. Oh, it's because I'm in edit mode. Whoops. So let's say I wanted to fit all of this to the Lord Sworn's straight sword for some reason. So what I usually like to do, I like to take a copy of the original weapon 
and duplicate it so they can see how the dummies are set up on that. And then I'll hide this version. So I'll go into edit mode again. And now I can uh, really edit these. It's like these two are for the end of the blade. So I'll do this. I'll move the, uh, these over there. I usually like to turn on vertex snapping so that I can... Oh, that's weird. That way I can correctly place the tips dummy. And then I'll turn that off. This is 100, so I don't even want to move that yet. I think. This is why I have the uh, other stuff set up. Yeah, I don't want to move 100 yet. So 130, 401. Setting up dummies is just a thing. Like I usually like to try and keep them evenly spread out so that uh, so that the effects on them will look decent in game. This is just a rough idea on how to actually do it. And again, I don't really know what each dummy does. Like 300 and 400 and I don't know what they do. So once you've moved your dummies, you're going to want to open Notepad++ up again with this same stuff. This is the original Health and Steeple dummies. So we're going to copy this stuff and paste it in here. So Y axis over here goes to the Y position right here. And make sure that you get rid of the M, otherwise it's going to throw an error when you try to import it into Flivr Editor. And we'll do that for each of the dummies that we have changed. And then uh, once you've done that, you can save the file as whatever. And uh, once you've done that, you can just, or you, you don't actually have to save it, but it's nice to have it on hand if, in case you need it again. So either you can save it and click load JSON, JSON, whatever, here in Flivr Editor's dummy menu, which would ask to load a file. Or you can just paste it all in here and hit JSON mod. And there you go, you've edited the dummies. They'll even show up in here, but it's, uh, you can't really tell right now because of how tiny they are and how many, how, like, how saturated this model is with the tries. I hope you find this useful and thank you for watching.